From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. As investors place greater emphasis on carbon footprints, underground railway control systems manufacturer Battery Electric is ready to assist companies on their decarbonization journey. Tracy Hancock tells us more. Underground railway control systems manufacturer Battery Electric has proven that it's possible to ditch fossil fuels without losing capability by successfully converting a 5-ton diesel hydraulic underground mining locomotive owned by mining major Sabanya Stillwater into an environment-friendly battery-powered electric version. Battery electric design engineer Manus Marais explains that the efficiency, control and safety of the existing machine has been significantly improved and follows two years of development of the company's diesel machine conversion technology. Its purpose is to haul material underground, so it's quite a workhorse. We removed the diesel engine, the diesel tank, hydraulic pump, hydraulic motor, everything to do with the previous uh, drive system and we installed a lithium-ion battery with a full electric drive system. So what's standing behind me is a full electric vehicle um, in the shape of a locomotive. The battery electric locomotive also includes a three-phase inverter and a reduction gearbox, which allows for the system to produce maximum torque and the electric motor to operate in its most efficient range. This is in addition to a sprocket adapter, human-machine interface, driver speed control unit, high-frequency onboard charger, radiator, cooling pump, and the heart of it all, the battery electric vehicle controller. The test we've done so far on surface has proved that the machine can do what a 5-ton diesel locomotive can do at 50% of its power capacity. So our aim now is to get the locomotive ready for underground testing because we want to see how it excels in operational tests. So that's where we're really going to see can it do or even outperform that of its diesel counterpart. One such improvement is safety. Because a lot of the subsystems we also implemented, there's a lot of intelligence in the system. So our monitoring software can far better identify any security threats, notify the user or even automatically act on that. Because we in, in Afrikaans we have a, a, a saying that to measure is to know. So because we have all the, the, the data, we can accurately determine is the system safe or not or is there any potential threats that we need to act upon. Retrofitting also has financial benefits. You don't have to exchange your entire loco fleet you can use your existing chassis and build onto that, which is also very great because now you don't have to do capital outlay for uh, new machines. There are, however, some benefits to doing a new machine, but that is a different business model. Also, your maintenance cost on the machine itself is far less because there's no diesel or oil components that needs regular maintenance or inspection. And because it is an electric motor with a battery, the maintenance actually only happens when the system tells you that something might be wrong. Battery Electric also considered user friendliness to ensure a smooth transition for operators. We tried our best to keep it as similar as possible. So at the back end, you have a very sophisticated system that's actually controlling and handling all the user inputs. But for the user, it still needs to be just a touch of a joystick, a press of a button. So we don't want to make that leap very big. And I think we have achieved that. There has to be some additional uh, training um, that needs to be implemented. But that was the goal, is to keep it as close as possible for the driver to actually not have that big learning curve. Thanks to Sabanya, we have facilities here that we can test the operational and performance parameters of this machine to, at the end of the day, prove data or provide data that we can put our fingerprint on and say, but this is our stamp of approval. We know our machine works and are confident to release it in the operations of a mining environment. Having proven that it can install an intelligent electric drive on a diesel-driven machine, 
Battery Electric will now look to apply its retrofit technology to other off-highway vehicles with internal combustion engines. That's Krima Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Engineering News daily email newsletter.